Hi, this is Paul from Samsung Mobiles, and today we're doing Samsung Galaxy S5 versus Goofone. So this is Goofone's equivalent of the Samsung Galaxy S5. As you can see, they are pretty much identical in look-wise, and we're now going to see what's inside. Here it comes. So this is the box that it comes in. It does look like a Samsung Galaxy S5 box. Here we go. So first thing you're greeted with is the phone. It comes in this little bag thing. Put the phone aside for a minute and we'll show you what else you get. So you get the uh, charge with it. Basically this is the faster charger um, with the extra piece which you don't get with a Samsung Galaxy S5 in the UK. You get a two pin charger, doesn't help me much in the UK. Looks the part though, but it's no good to me. Okay, so this looks like the Samsung Galaxy S5 headphones. There you go, it's got the controls on it and everything. Don't believe they say Samsung up them. No, they don't. But they look the part. Whether they sound the part, we will find out in another video. Okay, so let's move all that stuff aside. Star of the show these two I'll zoom in a little bit here we go obviously straight away you can tell the difference between the two screens um, I'm going to take the screen protector off this one I think it's got a screen protector on it I'm sure it has I'll take that one off just so there's no difference there taking that off and there's a tempered glass in this one but obviously that's going to make no difference at all so as you can see they look very very much alike so first things first I'll take you around the goo phone goo phones on the left difference by looking at them is basically one's got Samsung written on it there which is obviously my Samsung Galaxy S5 and this one hasn't and the home button is slightly different as well it's slightly more raised and there you go so they do look slightly different there. Taking around the phone, obviously the back of it where the S5 says Samsung, this one says Goo Phone. Um, the heart rate monitor sensor is slightly different as well. Obviously I will show you that in a minute. These are um, sensors here and this one goes by flash. Um, speakers obviously in the same place as you can see at the bottom. And then you've got your um, charger piece here just get this open so there you go that looks pretty much the same opens the same way as well there you go so they look identical as well pretty much there you go obviously the goo phone is um got a white bit instead of a silver bit well this bit's got a rubbery grip obviously this is this bit the goo phone is definitely not waterproof because obviously you've got the waterproof seal on this one um yeah okay let's close that up close up like so if i do it from the right way even it does help there you go that's closed um i'm going to take the back of the phone off now batteries look identical obviously they're probably not in uh, the actual battery um, on how long it lasts it is does it even say what it is let's just have a look sorry 3.85 volt um, 10.7 milliamp yeah so I don't know what's actually in the S5 let's have a look S5 is, well, this is exactly the same, apparently, but I wouldn't like to uh, say that. So, okay, back of the phones. Um, pretty much identical once again. Everything's all in the same place. SIM card slot, memory card slot, uh, speaker, speaker, obviously for the wireless batteries and stuff like that here. Battery pins are in the same place. Even the sticker looks the same as my one underneath here. And I'll even show you right now, identical the Samsung backs fit on perfectly I've tried it that's the first thing I did 
there you go. So that backs on there perfectly. And obviously, I will put the battery in because obviously, just in case you say it doesn't fit on there. There you go. And the goo phone back even fits on the Samsung. So they're both exactly, must be clipped in the same clips reel, exactly right. You know what I mean? That is crazy stuff. Okay, so headphone jacks, all in the same place. Um, infrareds all in the same place. I don't know where the infrared works yet. I haven't tried it. Volume up and down, basically, in, let's have a look. Helps if I have them both on the same side. Volume up and down, exactly the same again, I believe. It's a bit shiny. Um, what we got? Let me put a back to right, because otherwise that is where I'm going to get lost up. <laughs> it's crazy, really. Okay, let's put them back on right. Um, yeah, so the volume buttons look like they're in the same place. The keys look like they're in the same place as well. The if you notice the uh, the goo phone buttons are actually slightly shinier. So yeah. Anyway, let's get on and have a look. So it's running 4.4.2 Jelly Bee, uh, Kit Kat. Um, I don't know why it comes up with Jelly Bean on the front. No idea, maybe it's just their thing, but it's quite a cool little feature. But I've actually looked into the phone and it actually does say Kit Kat. So there you go. We're looking like exactly the same as a Samsung. There is a color difference. You may not be able to see that on camera. Um, <clears throat> the Galaxy S5 on the right looks so much more sharper than the, the Goo phone. But it's smooth. It runs through very nicely. You've got pretty much exactly the same features on the uh, Galaxy S5 as you have on the Goo phone. It is. It runs exactly the same. You've even got like the little pull down tag. I don't actually use that, but some people do. I have noticed that the actual Goo phone is actually a lot louder than the Samsung Galaxy S5. Uh, but there you go. Camera on this is pretty damn amazing. Same as the Galaxy S5. I'll take a picture now. Okay, so there you go. That's a picture of my fruit machine. It has come out pretty damn good to me. <clears throat> if I can, I will do some filming at the end on the Goo phone and show you. But yeah, I'm quite impressed. So, heart rate monitor. Heart rate monitor will come on any second when I press the start button. There you go, so it uses the flash. It does the little beat sound when it does it. <clears throat> There you go. So we'll just try quickly with the S5. <clears throat> Sorry, got a bit of frog in my throat. Um, shows you how much I don't use it. It's not even on the front screen. Um, here we go. Come on. Um, whoa. All right. So obviously it's not been done exactly at the same time, so we can't really say it's 100%, but we'll see how close it is. 67. Hmm. Should we try to put the another one on this one quickly? It does take a bit longer on this one though. But it's probably not gonna be the same. Maybe, you never know. But yeah, so that's the heart rate monitor. Camera's pretty much the same. Obviously you've got the Play Store. <coughs> <clears throat> Obviously you've got the Play Store as well. Because it's running Android. I'll just show you the Android that it's actually running. It does say, um, it's just going to settings on the, sorry. But put them back around the right way. So we know which where's what. Um, we will go down to 
about where is about I believe it's right at the bottom nearly about device about device so they're even set out like the same um, yep so we've got 4.4.2 come on there you go so it doesn't do the spinny kick cat thing like the Samsung Galaxy F5 and obviously the um, Kit Kat is in a slightly different colour so whether it's actually running that I don't actually know to be quite honest with you um, let's just have a look at uh, baseband version and stuff like that um, where are we so that says slightly it's, it's basically different um, there you go, so they, they are actually different versions yeah, so whether it is actually running that or not I don't actually know but you got this one obviously says N900 and this one says G900 so you've obviously they're pretty much alike so you've got slightly more features in there as well Software update. So that looks like it's using a different part as well. So yeah, but other than that, um, I do believe it's pretty damn good. Okay, so let's have a look at the internet. Goo phone first. Um, we just go to the browser, type in Google. It's pretty fast, can't really moan about that. Obviously this is going to be pretty fast as well, I would imagine. You'd like to think so, wouldn't you, being a real one. Yeah. I don't know if you can see from that, but this, the, um, oh, what's this? Sure, no, deny. This is uh, basically definitely so much brighter. Um, pull down from the top, brightness is basically right up. This one is right up as well. Yeah, but I am, I am very impressed with it so far for being what it is and how much it costs. Cost-wise, so yeah, it's pretty rapid. Brings up slightly different now. But there you go. Picture quality is good as well. There you go. So yeah, I am very impressed with it. It is well worth, I think it's well worth going to buy to be quite honest. It cost me 91 pound 24p shipped fast within five to eight days. Um, I must admit it it come exactly on the eighth day. I was complaining because I wanted a tracking number um, and I spoke to them and they, they were a bit bad in getting back to emails, but they'd done it. The phone was here today. So I'm just looking at the spec now on the Goo Phones website. And basically the spec of the actual phone is a Cortex A7 quad core 1.3 gigahertz CPU. Um, the RAM is 512, the ROM is 4 gig, the screen size is 5.1 obviously. Um, we are talking polyphonic ringtones, MP3 obviously. Um, it's a 3.5 headphone jack, which we know that. Um, the card expand will go up to 16 gigabyte which is a bit of a nightmare because I believe the Samsung Galaxy S5 goes up to 64 gig or 128 maybe I'm not quite I'm not 100% on that um, so yeah the that's a bit of a letdown on that but you can't you can't have it all can you so yeah I mean it's it's, it's fast basically it's got it's got the quad core there so um, I'm quite impressed as I said, it's a uh, 3G handset, that's obviously not 4G. Um, I believe they do do a 4G one on there now, on um, Goo Phone's website. And it comes in black or white, you can't have it in gold or blue. But you can easily buy the blue backs off of eBay, because that's all the blue one is really. And check it on a black one. And it's uh, bands are 850, 900, 1800 and 
nine uh, 1900 band so it'll pretty much work anywhere in the world as you'd want it to it's a bit silly actually because on their website I will put obviously the link below um, it says card expand suitable for TF cards up to 16 gig um, and they're actually trying to sell you a 32 gig with it so yeah a bit silly so obviously we are missing certain features as in for instance the uh, fingerprint recognition not that I ever used that on my S5 I think it's shocking you have to get it dead on straight down and that winds me up my iPhone 5 one uh, 5s when I remember it's actually on there I do use it I think it's just a gimmick to be quite honest I do like gimmicks like that but yeah so obviously you've got the um, download booster on this where it uses the Wi-Fi um, this is on my S5 on the um, they use the Wi-Fi and the 3G um, obviously this has got Bluetooth as well so the, the menu systems they do look pretty much the same as you can see um, I'll be honest for a, for a Chinese made phone I do as obviously I've got a mobile phone shop myself and usually they are absolutely shocking now someone come into my shop with one of these and this is how I got to know about Goofone because I didn't actually know anything about Goofone or not at all um, I knew there was fake phones out there but not in this quality I'm, I'm extremely impressed with it um, yeah as you can probably tell okay so I will link the, the um, description below to Goofone's website thanks for watching if there is anything you want to know about it and you want to ask some questions drop me a comment below and I'll uh, get back to you and let you know obviously I'm gonna have a little play around with it I'll probably do a little bit of uh, I might do a follow-up on it um, so yeah follow up and let you know what it's like battery wise and stuff like that because obviously I've only got it today I've had a little play around with it but yeah Okay, thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up, and if you're not already, subscribe buttons down there. Subscribe to see lots more reviews on mobile phones. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.